Hello there everybody, welcome back to another Wheel Assassin video. Thank you so much for tuning in with me today. This is part number 16 of our Starcourt Mall tutorial. Today we're going to be building the cinema. Now this is such a huge task. I'm not going to lie, I'm a little bit nervous to teach you guys this. Um, <laughs> it's probably one of the biggest things I've ever built in my life. Um, I've never built a cinema before, so this is actually quite a new thing. I've built a cinema room, just never gone full scale and built a cinema. This thing is fully detailed. I'm going to be showing you a little bit of the detailing today. Um, but as we're going to have to do two, at least two parts to this tutorial, uh, to this section of Starcourt, I'm not going to be showing you the entire detailing, um, just so that you can get a feel for the build and then I can show you the rest of it like next episode. So don't really spoil anything for you guys to make it a bit more of a surprise. So yeah, the front entrance to this place, the detailing on the front, of course we have that massive cinema sign. Unfortunately, as you can see, it looks a little bit dirty around the outside of it at the moment. Uh, that's because I haven't, of course, finished the roof. I will definitely get onto that very, very soon. We have Back to the Future being shown. Uh, we also have Cocoon. We have Daryl, <laughs> Life Force, Return to Oz, and The Stuff. These are all exact replicas of, you know, the show's... Uh, the movies that were being shown in the show. So, of course, over on our left side, we haven't completed this toilet area over here where this corridor goes and things, um, but we will get onto that definitely once we've completed the cinema. Um, this is the last major sort of build on this floor, which is insane. Um, of course, we haven't quite completed the floor just yet. We've got a few more bits and pieces to do, uh, such as toilets behind some of these shops, uh, the loading dock right back there, those toilets, and of course, then we can look at, you know, starting the ground level, which is awesome. Just want to let you guys know before we get cracking, um, I am going to be doing the roof very, very soon. So I'm going to be filming a tour before I get that ground floor done, the, bo the basement level done. Um, so that is going to be awesome for you guys to see what's to come. And hopefully you guys can see if you actually want to build this, you know, like if you've been following along with the tutorials, just to kind of get a little feel for the build, then hopefully that will give you a little bit more of uh, a choice if you want to start building. So yeah, the lobby area, first of all, we have not much going down, to be honest. We have a couple of like, popcorn machines at the front, maybe some uh, leftover popcorn is in there, so it's just kind of being preheated, I guess. The actual popcorn machine back here, just rep represented with a couple golden nuggets, looks really cool. The signs up there used to say food and drink, but I'm not sure why they are empty. I'll sort that out for, for later in the build. Um, but we have like a bucket of popcorn on the left, and we have like a, a Diet Coke or something on the, the right there couple slushy machines over here you could always change up the glass stained you know stained glass to make that a little bit more realistic and of course we have the ticket booths on either side so you can buy your tickets to back to the future or whatever as well there is four corridors to this place and of course there are very very many screens um, we are going to be building every single screen but that is probably going to end up being in part two for now let's get cracking on the cinema Alright then guys, the time has come to actually fill in this huge space we've got over on the right side of our Starcourt malls. Um, I've grabbed myself some blue concrete, some white stained glass, some red concrete, some light blue concrete, some smooth sandstone and some smooth quartz block. This is of course not all the materials, we are going to grab some more later on, but for now we're going to grab these six materials. First thing you want to do is go to this game store over here that we built our previous episode, I believe. We're going to go ahead and take our smooth sandstone. And we're going to go two blocks along from the game player's kind of wall just here. So you want to definitely go diagonally from this, by the way. Four, two, and these are going to go up for about four blocks. So basically just there. It's super helpful when we built the game player that we actually did mark out where this um, blue and uh, red concrete go. Because uh, that is going to be very, very important for this whole cinema area. Speaking of which, we're going to go ahead and put two red concrete just like so. Then we're going to take our light blue and we're going to place two up the top. Now we are going to double stack this. We're also going to double stack above gameplay as well like so. Now one thing I will say about all the stores in Starcourt. They do have this smooth sandstone sort of line that goes along the stores like this above the top. And that is where the roof is going to connect up to most of these shops. So if you want to go ahead and add this in right now. Um, all the way along all of your walls that are sticking out you know. Um, externally from their shops and things it's always a good thing to add in just along the top like so we're also going to do this over here on both sides of our stores when I was looking at um, images of like how to uh, well the real life star court 
I saw that they had this kind of pattern above the stores, kind of where they match up, and kind of, it's almost as if the mall was built in modules, so like, the roof could just slot on top. I know that sounds super weird, kind of sounds a little bit like Lego, but <laughs> that is basically how it goes. So we're also going to do it along the front of Jazzercise. Make sure you do the same just there. And then until we reach the arcade, it's kind of war over here. Now over at Jazzercise, you could also do um, the sort of along the front and all over the top. Um, but it really is up to you. It doesn't really matter too much, to be honest. We can always change it up if we need to later. So going back to game player's wall. What I'm actually going to do now is I'm going to take my three lots of smooth sandstone. I'm going to go back diagonally now. So I'm going to go one, two, three, like so. Once again, up for four blocks high. Then I'm going to do a line of red concrete for three blocks long. Then I'm going to do two stacked rows of light blue concrete for those three blocks. Now on this block, there's our first, well, our second movie poster even. Um, excuse my mic interference just there. Uh, so yeah, like there's a second movie poster that goes just here. That is going to be really good to uh, help us mark out the sort of distance between both these walls and the cinema entrance. So definitely keep that in mind. We're then going to go ahead and go one, two, three, four blocks now. We're going to stack this up for three as well with our smooth sandstone, of course. That is back diagonally as well, guys. You're then going to take your red concrete once again. And we're going to go along for those four. We're actually going to go along for another Thor. A four, four, <laughs> four, one, two, three, four, stacked away from that sandstone now, like so. Then just go ahead and add a fifth one, just like so. Drop back behind the sandstone wall, and we're just going to play place four blocks like so, up for three blocks high, up for. Ah, let's go four. Let's go four. Four blocks high even, so that basically you have this exposed red concrete kind of underneath side. Um, that is where we're coming up to the ticket booth now, the first ticket booth on the right side. That is perfect. That is what you want, guys. We're then going to go ahead and take our light blue concrete once again. And this time, kind of two blocks away from this, from the, uh, the end of the red concrete, we're going to stop right there and build this up to two layers. Awesome. Guys, you are doing an awesome job. I know this is a little bit tricky so far, but we are getting there. We have almost completed this wall, which is awesome. Uh, my mistake earlier when I said three blocks for like stacking these up, I meant four, of course. Um, definitely go up four blocks and then start your red concrete, and then two rows of light blue. You know what I was saying about the uh, sandstone that goes all the way along all these stores above their roofs? Um, you're actually going to go ahead and on Zales, similar to what we were thinking about on Jazzercise, we're actually going to go ahead and stack this over like so. So you don't have to make that sort of row behind. This actually goes over and shadows the sign like that, which I think looks better to be honest. It looks definitely more three-dimensional, which we, we definitely want. Alright then guys, for the next part, you're going to need to grab yourself some oak wood planks. Now I'm not sure why I have prismarine in my inventory. I think it's because I accidentally broke a bit of Claire's earlier. <laughs> Here we go. So just besides to the left of your sandstone wall, we're going to go up four blocks with our planks. Then we're going to drop down and counting from here, not this one over here, we're going to go one, two, three, like so. Now we're going to leave that backwards L for now, and we're going to, you know, take a little break from that. We're actually going to start on our sort of cinema signs, so the ones that tell you which movies are on and things. We're going to go one, two, three, four blocks with our quartz block. Then we're going to go ahead and go one, two, three with our red concrete. Then we're going to do another four blocks of quartz. Then this time we're going to go one, two, three, four with our red concrete. Then another four with our quartz. One, two, three, four. Then we're going to go back into this wall over here. So we're going to leave that suspended in midair for a little bit. Now you'll notice that it is a little bit not symmetrical. Um, that was on purpose because when I was building this originally, I was experimenting with different like signs and things, trying to get this to look how it should basically. And it was so tricky to get this so perfect and symmetrical. And the way I built all these stores, like the, the sort of scale I went for, um, it didn't really match up with what I wanted, so I did make it a little bit, you know, annoying for all our OCDs here. <laughs> so I apologize for that, guys. But yeah, hopefully it'll look good once the, uh, you know, the cinema sign is on and stuff like that. So definitely uh, stay tuned for that. Now, coming to the timeout arcade, we're going to need to start our sort of corridor back here where it goes into the toilets and things. We're just going to mark it out so we can go ahead and add the cinema wall. To do that, you're going to go right beside your timeout arcade and this light blue concrete pillar. 
We're going to go one, two, three. Uh, let's go four. Then we're going to go over the top for three blocks, along like so. Drop back down for another three, so you can add that on and then add your door frame. Drop into the floor, and then just put your two blue concrete in for that doorway. Two stained glass blocks above that door frame, like so. Then we're going to come behind this and place a row of red concrete for four blocks. And then two rows of light blue, like so. Now this area is going to be stacked out, like it's going to come out of the wall a little bit now. Um, we are going to go ahead and sort that out in two seconds. Alright then guys, so what we're going to do now is we're actually going to place another row of red concrete just there. And then two more rows of light blue. I'm going to go ahead and raise this up a little bit. These two little, you know, rockets on the timeout arcade. I'm going to go ahead and raise these up just by a block or so. So let's go ahead and add another block there. One there, two at the front, and then a couple around the side. A couple more on top, like so. So we're making a massive sort of long tower instead now. Same for the other side, so it looks nice and symmetrical. And that is looking great. So you basically just want to, like when I was doing the timeout arcade, I made it small so we could go ahead and add these blocks in. Um, but I didn't really think about the later sections, so I hope you don't mind about that, guys. Let's go ahead and add that in. That looks, you know, much better. Then we can go ahead and basically be diagonal away from this sort of glass block and the red concrete, which is perfect. We're then going to take our smooth sandstone and we're going to go to the right of our sort of entrance. We're going to go one, two, three. Stack this up for, of course, four blocks. Now on our red concrete once again. Now we're going to go two light blue again. But this time, don't build behind this because it's in the corridor section for the toilets now. All right, so to the right of our three long wall, we're going to go for nine blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we're going to stack this up for, of course, four blocks. Now the good way to test if you've actually got enough blocks in your row is we're going to go ahead and mark out where the paintings are going to go represent our movie posters. So there's actually four paintings on this wall, so we need to make sure they're a block away from each other and a block away from the exterior walls. So one there, one there, one there, and one there. Perfect. Let's fill those back in and get on with the next bit. So a row of red concrete along the top and then two rows of light blue concrete along that top. We're then actually going to go for a hard right, so we're going to go 90 degrees to the right now, as if we're facing sort of the game player. We're going to go 1, 2, 3, and up for 4 blocks of course once again. Red concrete again, and then 2 a light blue concrete rows like so. Back diagonally now for 4 blocks, and of course up for 4, another row of red concrete, and then 2 rows of light blue concrete like so. We're now going to go back again, but this time for three blocks, and we're going to build this up for four blocks high. Oops, there we go. Got a bit carried away. <laughs> so then we're actually going to take our red concrete, and we're going to hopefully connect it up few in line with that quartz. That is awesome. You can then take your light blue concrete and do the exact same. This time we're not going to stop, you know, like we did over there for two blocks away. Um... You can if you want to, it might make that easier actually. Let's go ahead and stop. So let's only do five rows. Uh, five long with uh, two rows of light blue concrete. Like that. That is awesome guys. So now what we're going to do is one of the hardest sections. We're going to go ahead and build in both the ticket booths. Uh, and then we're of course going to build the second row for the sign and things. So let's get doing it right now. Okay then guys, so before we move on, I just realized a big mistake I made. Luckily it's not too big so that no one has to change their builds too much. Um, literally just this row on the left side before, um, like four blocks away um, from the end of the red concrete and then the quartz. Um, this wall is actually supposed to be two blocks wide. I made that three, I ended up filming quite a lot of the tutorial. I got the whole cinema sign done and everything. Um, and then I realized when I got to like build in the inter interior of this place, that it was like a block off and that would have been devastating for us so luckily I realized well I guess luckily I realized before I started teaching you guys um, I am happy about that but yeah I did film quite a bit and then uh, had to you know kind of take 20 minutes out to go and check what I'd done I was really confused but yeah make sure you get that wall um, two blocks let's just recap real quick so of course you got your four blocks for the doorway 
your three blocks for this wall to the right of the doorway we're going to go along by nine blocks along this wall then you're going to take a 90 degree right and we're going to go along by three drop back diagonally for four drop back diagonally for what originally was three but it's going to be now two okay awesome i'm so sorry guys i am so happy that i noticed that before uh, it got out of hand Whew. okay all right on to the rest of the build all right then guys so now we have this sort of wall corrected over here we're going to go ahead and take ourselves these materials you're going to need yourself some oak wood planks some glass some block of gold some smooth sandstone some light blue concrete some smooth quartz block some yellow concrete and some quart block of quartz so taking your smooth sandstone we're going to go diagonally back from this two. We're going to go one, two, three, four blocks like so. And of course up for four blocks. So they are kind of blocked off at the top there by the red concrete. We are then going to go ahead and take ourselves our oakwood planks. And we're going to go one, two, three, four up the side of that sandstone. And then one, two, three just along there to make an L shape. We are then going to go diagonally back by two blocks. And then once more diagonally by another two blocks, like so. We're going to go ahead and match that up to this side as well, because these are nice and symmetrical. Like so. Now you should be able to see that we are starting to go to the middle of this 25 block line at the back here. Now if you haven't got this 25 blocks, don't worry guys, you can always go ahead and correct it right now. If you do need to pause the video at any point, by the way, because I do go too quickly or whatever, please feel free to do so, it's always there for your guys' use. Alright then, so what we need to do now is we're actually going to go ahead and take our light blue concrete once again. We're just going to go ahead and fill this along so it connects up to the other light blue at this side. Now you're probably thinking, what on earth are you doing? Because the cinema sign, as you can probably see from here, um, is huge and it goes over sort of this billboard area. Well that is kind of our marker, that is kind of our baseline. What we need to do is we are going to go to the block that is in line with this red concrete one right here and then one up just here and we're going to build two out like so we're also going to do the exact same over this side so the block just before is it just on or just before just on the oak like this and then the one besides it going whichever way out towards the sandstone basically we are then going to go ahead and place one two three four quartz in line with our below quartz another row fill that in so for this one it's four with your light blue another row of quartz a another row of light blue for only three this time and then your four quartz to end it to that other side like so we are then going to go ahead and take ourselves our yellow concrete and just build this along basically along the top of there so it matches up to the top of that light blue concrete block all right then guys so now we have our yellow strip along the bottom we are going to go ahead and take our normal block of quartz not our smooth for this one just our normal one we're going to go a block in and we're going to go up for five blocks. One, two, three, four, five. Like so. Add a block on the top and the bottom facing to the right and then you have a C. We're going to do a another letter now. We're going to go a block away again. One, two, three this time. Then we're going to have to place a block to remove it, which is that one. And then on the fifth one, you can go ahead and remove the fourth one. Place the block on the fifth and then you have an I. Another block away, we're going to go up by five, across by just one to the right, then we're going to drop down diagonally and drop this one down for four blocks. We're then going to go a block away once again, one, two out this time. We're going to go up another four from this base block, which will make it five. A block at the top and a block in the middle. We're going to do an M now, so we're going to go up by five. We're going to drop down to the fourth row and we're going to place a block just there going to drop down a block away from this five long pillar and place three blocks so it's just diagonally away from that sort of t-shape i guess now we're going to make a backwards t so we need to go a block away from the, the three line up by five and then on the fourth one place a block to the left and lastly for the a we're going to go a block away from the m up for five blocks miss a block out up for five blocks complete the top drop down uh, miss that block out and then place one in there that is awesome. I love the cinema logo for this one. I really am happy with the way this turned out. So the last thing we need to do for this sign is we're going to fill it in with yellow concrete. This is going to go around the perimeter of the build. So we're just going to mark it out real quick. So around all of these characters, each of the letters should be just one block away from every single, you know, 
each other basically and of course the exits the exits <laughs> the exterior of the sign and then you can just go ahead and fill this all in let's do that now all right then guys i'm really pleased with the way the cinema sign has come out it is looking really cool we are going to go ahead and go into the inside of this place now so the ticket moves on the right and left side of the build we are going to go around the perimeter just a block away from the edge this edge i mean um with our glass block up for two rows like this so of course six on the front there two rows of three four on the side here so two rows of two and then just two blocks on the last one just there make sure you make an exact replica of that over on this right one if you started on the left or vice versa then we can go up to four blocks so we just need to add three onto the end one back here then we're going to take a block of gold and just go around the top of the glass with your gold. Now I'm not going to lie, the cinema is probably one of my favourite locations in Starcourt Mall um, that you see in the show. I love the scene where uh, Robin and Steve are actually going inside of it. <laughs> and they are, you know, they're being babysat by uh, Erica and Dustin. And they're still a little bit drugged from the Russians. So they go to the toilet, you know, they have their, their, like, the chat. Um, but when they're outside, they're discussing Back to the Future, and it's absolutely hilarious. If you haven't seen the show, definitely go and check it out. I'm pretty sure if you're this far into the tutorial, you would have seen it, but if you haven't, you've got to go watch it, guys. Honestly, it's so good. So we're going to come behind the build now, and into the sort of office area. Well, I say office area, it's kind of the lobby of the, uh, you know, the cinema. We are going to go take ourselves our smooth, uh, smooth sandstone? Yeah. We're going to go three blocks back on both of these. And then we're going to go up for four. Like so. We will need to add a couple more layers to this afterwards. For like the whole roof section and things. But at the moment it's not actually that bad. It looks pretty good. We are then going to go a block back here. So this one just to the right of the planks. So we're not going to cover the planks with our smooth sandstone. We're just going to cover up this wall. We're going to bring this back to a block away from that wall we've just built. This is also going to go up for four blocks. And once again, we're also going to do it the other side. So here, build a wall, just a block away from that three long wall, and of course up for four blocks. Epic. You guys are doing an absolutely amazing job. Keep up the great work. Alright, I think we are ready for our next step. I need to go ahead and get myself some new materials, because I've got a little bit carried away. I wasn't expecting to film this part just yet, but let's go ahead and get that done. Alright then, guys. So taking ourselves these new materials, we're going to need some blue concrete, some black concrete, some spruce doors, some blue wool, and some red concrete. Of course, this is not all the materials, we're going to grab some more later on the build. We're going to go down to this three long wall we've built on either of these ticket booths, both of these ticket booths should I say. And we're going to go along by two, and up by four of course. Then we're going to drop into the floor to the right of that sort of pillar we've just made, and place a spruce door just like so. We're then going to place two black concrete above that to finish off that row. You're then going to take your blue concrete once again, and we're going to go one, two, three, just like so. And then we're going to go one, two, just for that corner. So you bring a block out, just a block away. So it's actually four, and then just one block there. We're going to make this up to four blocks, of course. That is looking awesome. So let me just switch my picture so I can see what to do. Okay, here we go. We need to go ahead and take our black concrete. We're going to dig into the floor for two blocks, like so. Then we're going to go two blocks away. So leave these two empty. Drop into these two. Place another black two. Black two concretes. Two black concretes. What am I saying? What is that? What is that language, dude? <laughs> so spruce doors on both of these, of course. And then black concrete above these doorways. Which, of course, we can't do this one at the moment. Otherwise, you'd have to do like a shift kick above the door. And it would be a little bit awkward. So we're going to go ahead and fill this middle section in with a four block pillar. Or two rows of blue concrete black concrete over the door and then you can finish off this wall into this corner sweet now along the 25 blocks at the back we have for our sort of lobby area we are going to need to build a massive wall that goes along here we're also going to build and build the reception desk that goes in six blocks on either side um, but we will do that a little bit later on once we've completed the wall this side bear in mind we are keeping this the exact same so we're building a nice replica so remember, two blocks for four of blue concrete. Then we're going to go one block in the floor to the left. A door, two black concrete above that. One, two, three, four. Blue concrete up for four. 
And of course we need to bring that one block out for four as well. We're then going to go ahead and punch in the floor. Two black concrete. Leave two gap. And place two more black concrete in the floor. Your door's on there. We can't of course place our black concrete above our left door at the moment. So we're going to need to go, go ahead and do that pillar. Up for four blocks. For two. Don't forget to cover over this door as well. Then our black concrete goes above here. And then we've reached the end of our destination. Hate to sound like a sat nav. But there we go. <laughs> That's looking awesome. So taking our blue concrete once again. There is not much detail on this back wall. You can go ahead and fill this up to four. For these 23 blocks I believe. My maths is not you know, great at all. So I'm just going to like guess that. I'm pretty sure it's 23. Yeah 25 minus 2. 23. Yeah. Simples but yeah I just I'm very bad at maths. Ah. Skills I gotta learn, you know. Alright, so what we're gonna do now is take our blue wool. We are gonna just quickly mark out the area we need to fill in. So just up to that pillar of our oak on either side. And then this entire lobby space is gonna be filled in with blue wool. As well as these little ticket booths, by the way, guys. Make sure to fill these in as well. Let's go ahead and get this place ship shape. Alright, guys, so what I've decided I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave the sort of triangular shaped roof. I made over the, the uh, cinema on my original build until we do the actual roof all together just so that we don't cram in too many different sections and you know get ourselves confused really um, so I hope you don't mind about that the cinema sign looks super awesome on its own so you could always just keep it like this if you wanted like a an open air star court I don't know why you would but if you wanted to like that would look pretty cool um, but yeah we will definitely get onto that but I'm gonna do it with the sort of roof tutorial right at the end of star court just so that we can uh, you know do it all in one section basically so back onto our foyer area, we've grabbed some red concrete once again, some red carpet, some glass, some iron trap doors, some spruce wood stairs, a stone button, block of iron, white stained glass and some item frames. Once again this is not all the materials but we will need to grab some more later. We're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and on 7 place your red concrete. Go to the opposite corner, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And on 7, once again, place your red concrete. We're going to make that go all the way along that wall. Like so. And then just a block away, we're going to go out by 3. Uh, out by 2, even. Out by 2. My mistake. We're also going to do it on the opposite side, a block away. And then once again, diagonally from those, we're going to go ahead and make another strip. So you've got your sort of front desk there. Now you'll notice these two blocks that are diagonally kind of, well, in front of this uh, back wall, but then, you know, kind of go diagonal for this uh, this long strip. They are going to be four blocks away from the sandstone just besides the ticket office windows. So definitely keep that in mind. We're going to take our sp uh, spruce wood stairs. We're going to go a block in from this sort of left side. We're going to go one, two, three and up for two. Just normal facing stairs like so. We're going to place one block of iron just down there. One stained glass just there. One button of stone just there. I'm then going to go ahead and later on I'm going to take some like red wood and put it up there but for now of course we're going to leave that empty. We're going to go two blocks away now and so we are a block away from this end. We're going to place two glass blocks just like so. Now this is actually where the slushy machine is going to go. So if you did want to use a blue and a red block that would probably look way better like a blue and uh, red stained glass but because of my inventory at the moment I'm going to stick to normal glass because it saves us a little bit of time. What I've also done over here in the front with the glass is I've gone three blocks in. On fourth and fifth, or on this side, it's on the fifth block and in the sixth block. But let's go from the right. So it's on fourth and fifth. We're going to come into the floor, place two red concrete, and place glass above that. We have two iron trapdoors above that. That is kind of our popcorn, uh, I, I guess, preheating pre place. So you kind of the storage for the popcorn so you can see how fresh it is and, you know, all that sort of stuff. Never worked in a cinema, I, so I have no idea what uh, you know that sort of thing is for, but I can only really imagine. So in the middle of this three, we're going to place a stair. And once again, we're going to do it we'll block away from this end as well. Sweet. We're then going to take our red carpet. We're going to go along the perimeter of all of these sideboards and fill in the blocks we missed out, basically. So basically, all that's left. Wicked. Alright, I think we are ready for some new materials. Let's go ahead and grab them now. 
All right then guys, so the second layer of detailing on this lobby sort of reception area, we're going to go ahead and grab some red wool, some item frames, a gold nugget or a couple, some iron trap doors, some black wool, some smooth quartz block, some spruce trap doors and dark oak sign, as well as lastly some tripwire hooks. Now one thing I want to do for this slushy machine is I'm going to place the two tripwire hooks on the front of this glass as almost like dispensers. Then I'm going to go ahead and pick block some red carpet and just sit that above that to complete it off. I'm going to take my red wool and place it above this sort of popcorn machine. Two item frames on those red wool. Two gold nuggets kind of diagonally facing one another like so. And then iron trapdoors above that. We are then going to make another row of blue concrete. So we need to just replace our red wool, red carpet even, for another 25 blocks of blue concrete above the top there. We are then going to place ourselves one, two, three quartz blocks above that popcorn machine, just a block away. Black wool on either side of that. Spruce trap doors underneath those two black walls and over the top of the entire module. We're then going to place our signs up here. This first sign is going to say drinks at the top row this is with a comma, a, a colon even, and it's going to have like cola on here. Uh, we'll put some sprite down. And we'll also put some, uh, I'm just going to put tango. <laughs> That's the only one that popped into my head. So again, for the middle row, we're going to write for the top row, but the middle sort of block, we're going to write snacks with a colon. Then I'm going to put like chocolate bar on here. Uh, there you are. Trying to find my bearings with my typing. There we go. Um, I'm also going to put crisps down on here. Or chips if uh, you know you wish. And then we're going to do it on the last row. We're going to put, uh, what else do you get in the center? Oh, tacos or something like that. You know, like chips. What are, they, what are those things called? Tortellas. Oh, Doritos. I mean Doritos. Mm. Uh... I, I don't know how to... Oh, there we go. Phew. I was going to say I don't know how to spell Tortilla, but then it popped up, so... Lucky. Save me. <laughs> and then for the final one, we're just going to write tickets once again. So, it's not really necessary for this area, because obviously this does not sell tickets. It just sells snacks and drinks and things. Um, but if you wanted to, like, get that, then you totally could. Or even just write deals. That's actually a, probably a better one. Because then you can start to sell the popcorn that you've got on the machines. So, deals like popcorn... You could write on the second row down. Uh, plus two. Write that or something. Four. As this is an American mall, I'm going to do $10. Probably a little bit of a rip-off, but that's cool. That's cool. This is Starcourt Cinema, so you know it probably costs a fortune. <laughs> but yeah, there we go. That is looking great. And then item frames go on these black con these black wool blocks even, like so to finish that off. Whilst you're here, you can also go ahead and grab yourself a bucket of lava. That is for our popcorn bucket, of course. And lastly, you can grab yourself a potion. It can be any potion you wish. I'm going to use something that's a bit darker. So like potion of decay, potion of harming, just so it looks like cola. I'm just going to turn these in opposite directions to one another, like so. And that front entrance is completed. Alright then guys, so for the actual ticket booths and their furnishings, we're not actually going to use that many materials, like this part is a little bit sparse, so you could always change the design up however you wish. I've grabbed some oak wood stairs, a chest, a composter, and as well as a weight weighted pressure plate, like the iron one. I'm going to go ahead and stick a, oh, let's, let's get my left picture up because I'm using the right one, there we go. So I'm going to go to this row just here, so where this double window is. I'm going to go a block away, I'm just going to place a chair just there. They can also see out the front windows then as well. I'm going to come to this corner, a block away from this block. I'm going to go ahead and place my composter. Two upside down stairs in this corner, and one just turned towards the door. Once again on this row, I'm going to go one, two. One, two along the wall. And then here I'm going to do an upside down stair sort of um, design for a shelf, for example. For three blocks long. And for about four blocks high. We can always change it up if we need to. There's a double chest that goes here. There's also a single chest that goes just beside the door uh, over on yeah here. And then one more just next to the composter, which is supposed to represent a bin. So you can take the tickets out, get them stamped or whatever, put them straight in the bin. 
and then weighted pressure plates on all the exposed ups and downstairs. Now going to our right one, basically going to do the exact same thing. So on this double window, a block away, place my stair. Then I'm going to go to this corner, and my shelf is here, so I'm going to go one, two, three, and up for four, ups and downstairs, like so. Another three ups and downstairs, and then one next to the door for that little sort of uh, shelf area. One chest just there, and a double chest just there. One weighted pressure plate in the corner. Then we come to the right side of the door. We're going to place one, two, three, and four, just like, oh, three, even just like that in the corner, like a, like a weird sort of, I don't know, like a right angle corner, I guess. <laughs> then we're going to place a composter just there, a block away from the windows. One chest just there. And then we're going to do the last two as weighted pressure plates. Amazing. That is awesome. We have definitely got a lot done in this first part. I don't know if there's going to be like more than two parts. I'm going to try and nail it down to about two. But if it goes over about 40 minutes, I'm going to try and do like a part three. Just so you guys don't have to watch like a marathon of just cinema tutorials. That'd be a bit annoying. Um, but yeah, that has been part one of our cinema in Starcourt Mall. Thank you so much for watching this video, some video guys. I really hope you've had fun building. I know it's been awesome to teach you guys. If you do, of course, want to stay tuned for more of my tutorials on Stranger Things, as well as, of course, Starcourt, please consider subscribing. That'd be amazing. And if you did enjoy this one, definitely be sure to drop a like. That'd be amazing. You guys have an excellent day. Please, of course, stay safe. And I'll see you at the next Willis video coming very, very soon. Goodbye for now, everybody.